All right, now I think I'm going to remove this. I believe this is secondary air injection. I know I already bought the back backing plate that attaches to that piece right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this entire thing and then it'll give me access to the oxygen sensors here and here. Um, this was uh, cut on the, uh, on the old um, cover, but basically I just kind of lifted this. Just lifted this flap here and it'll kind of just slide between this little plate. Um, so it won't be attached anymore. Uh, one other note, there are these four um, little bolt nut combo things um, that plug in to, where do they even go? Did I not have to take those off? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so one, two, three, four. Those have to come off as well. All right, so I decided, now that I've got the secondary air injection off, I have a lot of access to these headers. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take those off or at least loosen them as much as I can now. All right, I've gotten most of these bolts off. Bottom ones from the bottom, from underneath. Helps a lot if you don't have AC because otherwise you'd be blocked by a gigantic AC unit. Uh, last bolt on the first forward header. This one I'm gonna try to get from the top, but I might have to come back down. I literally have the perfect amount of clearance to get this bolt out, <laughs> so that's good. the car <laughs> you're looking at the two furthest back exhaust headers um, header ports and that's the last bolt I need to take off I'm gonna try to do it from under here because there's a lot of clearance I took off one two three four uh, where are the other two? five six and seven eight bolts to get that piece out there that tray or that airflow whatever you want to call it skid plate off which gives you a lot more access so let's see how this goes okay finally got them both off however there's no way there's gonna be enough clearance here um to actually slide them down or up so i'm gonna Loose or just take off that nut to the motor mount and take off that nut to the motor mount with the engine and hopefully I'll be good to go. All right, we have both headers off. <laughs> uh, that some of them, all the studs came out and some of them studs stayed on. Uh, but any advice I would give is if you have these solid mounts already installed, just loosen it just enough so that you get, you know, kind of get about that much finger length, maybe pinky length width of space raised, and that will give you enough to push the headers down. Uh, definitely take off the OBD plugs first um, before you start pulling because it'll just make your life easier. All right, now I'm debating. <laughs> do I go for the transmission mounts? Or do I start putting the headers on? Not sure. So I'd actually forgotten that I had bought um, solid edge mounts. So one of which is right there, that black piece that I will show you in a minute. Uh, yeah, the obvious thing that I'm talking about right there. <laughs> and the other, there. Is that it? Yep, there it is. There. 
And there, pretty straightforward. This plate just needs to come off. That's the front of the car. It's transmission, oil pan, transmission, mount, uh, and other mount. So this plate needs to come off. Just four bolts. Although you might have more. <laughs> Another quick note, <laughs> these bolts right here and here are actually the bolts that attach the mounts themselves. So we're going to take one, two, mount, three, mount, four, five, six bolts off. All right, now that the plate's gone, you can see <laughs> two mounts are really easy to access. Another quick note, here's that bracket I just took off. Here's the new engine mount, solid one. Um, see this little rib, or this little, you know, bump here? <laughs> uh, I believe because of the way these are cut, they're pretty much the same size, except for one side has these two cuts on each side. That way, you can kind of get around that bump, otherwise you can be sitting at a bad angle, like that. So, just make sure, so you're not struggling, that you have the cut on the bracket side, not the transmission side. headers we can see if we see this one will never be used again. New headers are in.